Here are 10 reasons why I still use PHP today. Or well, number one, PHP is very popular. So PHP is one of the most popular server-side languages out there. It powers about 80% of websites on the internet. 80%, which is a large number of websites. So you know that if you learn PHP now, your skills are not going to go in vain. It won't disappear anytime soon. So it's a good choice. Websites like WordPress, all those WordPress websites use PHP, including Facebook, Wikipedia. Those are very powerful websites that use PHP. So you know it's not going anywhere anytime soon. Or number two, it's easy to learn. So PHP is one of the easiest languages to learn. Very gentle learning curve there. So as a beginner, you won't have much trouble getting into it. And because it's so popular, so of course there are other experienced programmers that you can learn from. Or number three, it's open source. Software that is open source is free to use. So you can simply get started immediately. No cash required. Just download a program like XAMPP and you're ready to go. So this makes it very accessible to everyone. Number four, frameworks. So in PHP, there are a lot of powerful frameworks such as Laravel, Symfony, and Code Igniter. So these make it easy for you to build complex applications with minimal effort, right? So if you're the type that doesn't like to build things from the very scratch, you can use frameworks to speed up your workflow. Or number five, speed. PHP is very fast for a scripting language. This makes it very good even for large websites. Number six, PHP is cross-platform. So you can run your PHP application on Windows, Mac OS, or even Linux. Applications that I've built, for example, a point of sale system, and it doesn't matter what the client's system is, I know I can install it on that system. So that's a, a plus right there. Number seven, database integration. So with PHP, you can use several types of databases if you're using uh, something like PDO. Uh, so you can connect to a MySQL, Postgres, or even Oracle database, which makes it a very good choice for making dynamic websites or web applications, because you can't make a dynamic web application without a database. So if it connects to more database types, even better. Or number eight, we have scalability. So with PHP, you don't need to change any of your code if your website becomes larger, unless you want to add new features, for example. It can handle a very large scale, a very large volume of traffic, so which makes it very good for building large websites. Uh, maybe you need to scale very quickly. It's good for such websites. And also uh, a large criticism in the past was that uh, when you're scaling, it's prone to errors because there's no uh, strict rules for type hinting, for example. But as of PHP 8, we have that. So it's more stable even than it was before. Number nine, community. So because PHP is very popular, there's a large number of uh, well-experienced programmers already that are willing to contribute to the growth of PHP itself and also the help community. So if you have a problem with your PHP, you can simply type a question. Chances are somebody already asked that question and somebody already answered that question. So if you have a problem, an error, you can easily fix it because of a large community. And finally, my personal favorite, number 10, is the job market. Now, because PHP is very popular, of course, there are a lot of customers for PHP. So chances are, if you get a client for web development, there's going to be some PHP there involved. So if you are learning PHP now, your skill will come in handy eventually, because think about it, 80% of websites are using PHP. So definitely there's always going to be demand for PHP developers. All right. So I hope that helped you out to figure out why you should still be using PHP. Don't listen to those people that say PHP is dying or it's not going to be available soon. That's just not true. Because if 80% of websites are still using PHP, you know it's here to stay for a very long time. All right, so happy coding. Check out my channel for tutorials on PHP. Like the videos and subscribe. See you in the next tutorial.